Good morning, peeps. I'm back at Taswood Fishery. Now I'm gonna try a different lake again, as normal. I like to try all the lakes to see which one I like best. This one's off spray, right? So what I'm gonna do is show you where I've just fed the swims. I'm gonna pole fish today, because I can reach the other side. So I'm gonna, not quite right on the edge, but just about a yard off from the edge. I'm gonna try that, so, all right? So I'll show you where I'm fishing. Right, one swim I've got there, just there, and there's another one with a pipe, just there. I've got one swim there, and one swim there. All right, now both are uh, seven sections, so that's about 12 meters, about 11 and a half to 12 meters. Right, as you can see, look at my surroundings, that's lovely here, look, look at this. There's the lodges that you can stay in, there's Obviously one here, there's one over there, and they go right round that side. And what was that just in my swim? I missed it. <laughs> right, let's get out there, and I'll get back to you in a minute, see how I'm getting on. I'd better show you my setup. I forgot to show you what I've set up. Right, I've got two sections, top sections there, one for each swim. And my bait-wise, is I've, I bought a tin of hemp today because I forgot to do my own. I've got white, red, yellow, and black fuca. I might even try some of the neons today. The old Fuka bait has done well for me in the past, so I'll keep using it. Right, let's get out there. Well, I'll show you my rigs. Right, here we are. There's the float I'm going to be using on this one. It's obviously a Matrix one, because it's Mark Pollard. If I can get it into focus without too much background stuff. It's a Mark Pollard. And that is, if I can read it, Yes, MP Carp 1, 4 blue 16s. Right, that's for one swim, that's the one on straight out in front of me. And the one slightly on the right is a Preston's innovation. That's a 4 by 16 as well. Right, they've got yellow tips because I'm fishing in the shadows over there so I can see it better. Right, let's get out there. This is something different, I've got to pull elastic in. Be careful you don't pull out here because there's a lot of trees. They're not too low, but well, as you can see, it's holding bottom fairly. That's a good sign. that was on an orange neon. <laughs> oh, that's a common carp, lovely. Just see it, nice. Come on my little booty. I don't think he's that little actually. No, he's not. <laughs> Perhaps I've got her up the elastic. I don't mind. Perhaps I'll put the yellow on next time. This is 10 to 12 and I totally pulled that out. Because <laughs> I wanted to get some smaller fish I presume are in here, but. I just want to get it in. Miss off on another run. Oh, 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 oh. Right, if they keep me moving like that. Oh, missed it. Let's go. <laughs> Lovely, got him that time. <laughs> That's bigger than I thought. <laughs> Perfect. Just in the top lip. Swing the camera around so you can get a better view of him. 
Somewhere like that. It's quite a big car, actually. All right, mate. <laughs> Look at that for off spray. Is that good or what? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> right. Another little cut back there because a carp that size he's going to take a small amount of hemp seed I put out there. As I say, I'm using that tree there as a target and just turn that over gently. Just spread out a little bit, not in one heap, just spread out a little bit. Just like that. Okay. Right, let's get out, see if I can find another carp. Oh, that'd be nice if I did. If I get another carp, I'll up the elastic a little bit. Get back into my swim just there. That was nice. Little tiny rod the first go. And that, what, that's got to be five pound common. Easily. Lovely settings here. I just got to watch what I'm doing because I hooked them trees earlier, but I got all my gear back except for my hook. I just broke my hook length. I weren't looking what I was doing, I was just feeding out and I didn't do it properly and I caught that little bush over there. Got to watch what I'm doing. Oh, we're in again. Lovely. Roach. Hooks come out in the net, it's even better. Lovely fish, look. Beautiful. It must be Tuesday, because it's raining. Oh, we're straight in. Try to the right end swim on a natural fuga bait, so it looks like a natural pellet, and bang, first go. <laughs> what have we got? It looks like a skimmer. All right, old fella. All right, all right. I don't know if it is a skimmer. It's fighting too hard for that. I think. I would say it's a hybrid, wouldn't you? Yeah. So far, oh, ho, ho. two nice fish, or oh, three. The other one was about a rad about that big, <laughs> but it was a fish, wasn't it? Oops, just haven't took that right under. Oh, 
nice little lake this is. That good quite a long way down there. And that good quite a long way up to my left as well. It's not very wide, it's a bit wider over there in front of the chalets, but just right for my pole here. I'd need a longer pole if I were to do the same as that over the further down there, but there you go. Happy with what I got. And um, all you lovely subscribers and viewers, any of my gear you might be interested in, I'll leave it in the link below under the description. You'll see all the links there and just check out the gear I use and the baits. See how it goes. Oh. Wind just got up there right quick. <laughs> just the same time the float moved. About nice depth out there, two and a half to three foot. And I'm only about a meter off the side, so that's good depth in here. Don't know how deep it is in the middle, I didn't plumb that, but. Oh, missed that one. That's a bit awkward now, the pole is damp. <laughs> A bit sticky. Hey ho. There was another nice rod. A little bit too big to swing. Hooks out in the net again. Nice little roach. <laughs> That'll do if they're like that all day long, won't it? Do nicely. Green again. That's a green this time. Just enough, I can't quite get a hold of it. It's alright then. Oh, oh. We're in again. I feel a little different. What have we got here? Can't see what it is. Oh, that's a little baby tench. <laughs> We do love tench, don't we? Everybody loves tench. <laughs> Not a very big one, but... I thought that felt different, the way it was juddering away. <laughs> Look at that lovely, beautiful little tench. <laughs> miniature. Little miniature. Booty, innit? <laughs> do nicely. Lovely rad. How dark it is. Look. Oh, oh. Took that on the drop. Oops, he wanted to go back real quick. <laughs> Even bigger rod this time. How do they take it down? A little bit bigger. <laughs> What I'm doing on the right hand swim, I've got O natural focus. Is that four or five mils? I think four or five. I would say they're five. Just hook up like that. Let's get out there and have a, another go on that right hand swim. So I just fed the one straight out. Let that settle for five minutes. <laughs> Back on that one over there again. The one I feed with 
micros. The swim on the left, I'm fading with hemp. <clears throat> I've had more out of the swim on the right, but the one on the left, that's where I had the carp. The right hand swim where I had that little tench just now, and then two rud right sharply. Keep raining on and off, but that's not reaching me because above me here, as you can see, I've got lots of trees. So it's keeping some of the rain off me. Let's stop digging now. I went and got the brolly at the van just in case because I don't want all my camera gear to get wet. <laughs> a lovely bloke I talk to sometimes when I come here. He stood here just now and he said that peg next door, there's a bloke had 30 bream off there, a dozen or so roach and a few tench. That was just last week so and he said that was right up against that overhanging tree there but I thought about that swim but then that, that tree was in the way but I thought I don't know. Because there's a branch hanging in the water over there. I'll tell them, the owners, and they'll come and get rid of it because that's got hanging on a bit of line. You don't get snagged up in that and lose your gear, do you? Another roach. out in the net, good. Why does it come out in the net and the hook of the net? <laughs> come out there. Oh, well, let's show you the fish, I'll get it, okay, in a minute. Lovely sized roach. Beautiful. Well, I was just having a bite of sandwich. Thought I'll put out while I'm taking the mouthful and bang, it went straight away, it hardly even settled. What have we got here? <laughs> I couldn't see it in the water very well. Hey. That'll be alright, won't it? <laughs> Perfect. Another nice little rod. Busy today. Yep. Lovely roach. <laughs> now they're nice roach. Nice quality in here, aren't they? Boos. Well worth catching they are. Now a skimmer. <laughs> Another lovely little rud. <laughs> now they're nice fishy. Hardly any fight out there, and then they fight as soon as you get them in the net, don't they? <laughs> you made yourself a mess, look. Covered in bits in that net. <laughs> I can see you hiding behind that tree. Yes, I can. <laughs> Little resident goose. Getting into the rud now. A lot of rud out there, look. Oop. Lovely size to catch. Another skimmer. Got 
something a bit bigger this time. Had to pull some elastic in on the yellow. Big old bream. Oh. Looks out in the net. Good. Lovely. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, he's still just a few more seconds. <laughs> it's a good old bream, isn't it? <laughs> Lots of bream out there now. This one must be a male, he's like sandpaper. <laughs> More rud. Bream and then rud and bream then rud. Busy, busy. Run again. Another bream. Oh, flip, flip, flip. Right, mate, all right, all right, all right. It's a lively bream. <laughs> That's better, mate. Lip. Got a little spot on there. <laughs> Brilliant. Lovely load of rud. Oop. <laughs> busy, busy, busy. Another brim. on the right hand swim where I feed the pellets or micros. Busy busy, that's good. Like another tinge though, a nice good size one. I've been told there's oid in here, I'd like to catch one of them. <laughs> Best ride of the day I think. Let's have a look at him. Steady, steady. Bronzy colour. <laughs> That's a nice roach, isn't it? Or is it a hybrid? I don't know. You'll have to comment on that <laughs> at the bottom there. <laughs> now that's a better roach, isn't it? Look at that. That's a good, nearly a pound, that must be. I reckon it is a pound. Oh, yes. Fat. <laughs> Still going. <laughs> well peeps, I'm fishing over there as you can see. And if you come here and you want a lodge, you've got the wider bit of the lake here. And that's one of the lodges you'd stay in if you wanted to, look. Look at that, it looks lovely, doesn't it? Whew. Look how far you've got to walk to fish. Whew. Dear, oh dear. <laughs> Very nice to fish over there, wasn't it? Go right round the corner there as far as you can see, look. That lake, I don't know if you can see it through the gap of those trees, right right down there. Osprey. Then it go another hundred yards up that way. Right, let's get back fishing real quick. Well, I've been feeding the swim just a little bit down this side. Just the top two, and I've got a big old brute. <laughs> get that good, there we are. Got that brute. <laughs> just down that side, just the top two kit. <laughs> There's been a big old carp moving around right by my feet. I'll get him in a minute. <laughs> Lovely old jubbly. Is that a roach or an oid? <laughs> I don't know because I never caught one. <laughs> I know it looked a bit big for a roach, a bit thick. Well thick, look. Still getting some fish down this age. <laughs> now Fuka Naturals. Look at his top lip. Right, there you go. <laughs> 
again. <laughs> keep still, keep still. Where's the hook on? Another one has to look for the sandpaper. <laughs> Down the edge. I always want to finish on. <laughs> Please give me a thumbs up down the bottom there. <laughs> Subscribe if you like, and I'll catch you again. In the next, I don't know where yet. Bye bye for now.